Hello, welcome. This is the Incredible Machine, or it will be in a moment. I wanted to start here in the Finder because the game doesn't actually give me much room to talk at the very beginning. Um, so this is a puzzle game that I played a long time ago and really enjoyed it. It has quite a lot of puzzles in it. I don't think I ever got through all of them, so I've been itching to revisit it and actually try to get through everything. Uh, it's for the Macintosh, or at least the version that I played was. I think it's on a whole bunch of different platforms. The version numbers are a little confusing. This says three, but I think there's... I was reading about it a little bit. Apparently there's a lot of overlap between puzzles in different versions. This is the one I know, so it's what I'm going to play. Start! Published by Sierra. This logo type has some very unfortunate kerning on it. <laughs> Jeff Tunnel. You know, we could sure use a little light in here. Ah, that's much better. Hi, I'm Professor Tim. Welcome to the Incredible Machine. It's some slightly unfortunate audio balance. Hopefully you could hear what he was saying. Uh, then it goes straight to the credits here. I'm not going to sit through all these because they're very long. Anyway, yeah, so... Really interesting setup for... Okay, right, so... I am Alex. Are you a new user? Yes. Okay. So it's one of these old Macintosh games where everything takes place in little windows all over the place, so it's a little bit awkward to manage, but... Um, should be fine. I might change my resolution to something slightly lower so the game can occupy more of my space. I don't think I need to change any options here. Okay. So I can play puzzles, build puzzles, there's a two-player, huh, interesting. Manual, progress, okay, let's play a puzzle. So tutorial puzzles, there are quite a few of these, so this will take just a little bit to get going, uh, so you can see exactly what it's about. So the whole mechanic is that basically there's a bunch of pre-placed stuff here, uh, I can't move any of these objects. This is basically a game about building Rube Goldberg machines. Uh, I can place objects from this pallet over here, and once I've done some of that, I can run the puzzle and see how stuff behaves. So this is teaching about balls. My goal here is to knock the eight ball off the screen, so I can see how all of those behave. This weird super ball thing here um, bounces strangely, so all I have to do to solve this is put one there. And the eight balls off the screen, and I solve the puzzle. Next. Walls and inclines. Put both bowling balls into the large column box in the center. All right, so this has to go here, this has to go here. So the obvious simple way to do this is, right, okay, so I can rotate stuff, I can resize it a little bit. Something like this would be enough. Uh, I don't have to use up all of the objects or anything. In the tutorial puzzles, it gives me a bunch of extras so I can play around, this is good enough. Um, Things get a lot more interesting after I get out of the tutorial, though, so I kind of want to speed through this just a little bit. Gears and belts. Get all of the basketballs into the piped area. So what does this do if I just run it? That one goes in, that one goes in. The other one flies off the screen. There are tennis balls here for some reason. All right, so these are mouse-powered gears. This belt drives those gears, which moves those conveyor belts, so the basketballs get pushed over. Hmm. This emulator's having a little bit of trouble with the music. That's unfortunate. So basically I want to replicate over here what's done in this area. So I need... Alright, so which way is this going? I don't think I can attach two belts to a gear. No. Alright, so cancel that. So give me another gear here. Right, the gears have to, have to mesh. Let's see if this is good enough. That might go the wrong way. Gears don't mesh. Okay. I'm not sure what the rules are for that. I think this can only stretch a certain distance. Yeah, so the belt has a length limit. If I put this here, it should work. What does this do? Oh, okay. Make this belt turn by adding a belt. <laughs> Make this gear turn by adding a belt. <laughs> uh, the rotating parts. Okay. Place gears above... Side by side or above, below each other to reach the distance necessary or change the direction of rotation. Okay, so I think it's telling me that if I want to, if I want gears to mesh, they can only be like here 
or here. I can't make it work like that. Okay, let's try that. It goes the wrong way. So the solution to this is to add another gear. Like that. So this is basically a physics puzzle game. I don't usually like those, but this one is... This one is fully deterministic and doesn't abuse its physics too badly, I think. Uh, theater totters and ropes. Three bowling balls into the wicker baskets. All right. You make it there, you make it there, so all I need to worry about is you. All right, so what's the idea here? I can rotate that. I don't have... Okay, right, ropes. So what this is trying to show me is that if I have two of these like this, I think I can attach... Right, so this ball will pull that down and pull that down and try to push that in there. Let's see if it works. It sure seems to. Cool. All right. Uh, switches and plugs. Start both of the electric mixers. There's a lot going on here. What's an electric mixer? Start both of the electric mixers. I see a toaster, I see a vacuum cleaner, I see several vacuum cleaners for some reason. Lasers, a can opener. Okay, electric mixers, here. Uh, switches and plugs. So this has to be... Okay, right, this is showing me... So there's electricity. Putting something in close proximity to an outlet. Does that... I see how it is. Okay, so that's one. Uh, it's just a whole bunch of electrical appliances here. So this outlet has to be turned on. The tennis ball will flip the switch. And that's plugged in there, so this should work. Hopefully that made sense. This one is awfully busy. There's a lot going on here. <laughs> Motors and generators. Put both bowling balls between the logs. How many... Can I find out how many tutorial puzzles there are? Forty! Oh boy. Well, I guess that's what I'm doing today. Alright, let's try and kind of speed through them. Wait a second. Okay, so this is... Wait, what? Okay, I see. Easy, medium, hard. Really hard. Tutorial, head-to-head, -head, and homemade. Okay, got it. So I could just skip ahead to these, but uh, let's go through the tutorial. I'll do them in order. All right. Uh, yes, I'm already there. Both bowling balls between the logs. Okay, so this is... What the... What is this object? Generator comes with its own outlet. Used to supply electricity by connecting the wheel to a rotational motor. Okay, so I think the reason I can't simply connect these two is because... Not because it's too far, but it goes the wrong way. Got it. So I need to reverse the rotation and I don't get gears to do it. Yes, go away. Uh, so... I can drive this using the mouse. Yeah, there's a template over here that tells me how to do it. So drive this using the mouse. That's now powered. Then this thing can rotate. It's plugged into the outlet. I think this will st oops, still go the wrong way. Yes, run. But I can turn this object around so it goes the opposite direction. Yeah, yes, run. There we go. Lights and solar panels. Turn on all lights. This game has a lot of music tracks and they change every puzzle. <laughs> uh, okay, so you're a light. I think all I need to do is... Press the button, like with a ball, like that one. Uh, turn on all the lights. Okay, so what happens? This is on. Lava lamp is on. This one is not. Right. I can connect this and use the work of the basketball to pull that chain. Basically, I don't have to pay attention to too much uh, other than just... Like, there's a lot going on here, and I could pick it all apart, but I just kind of want to get the goal done quickly. Uh, this will all make more sense later when I get out of the tutorial. Like, both candles, both lamps, both flint rocks, and a match on a spring. Okay, so... 
So this needs to be lit. This needs to be lit. That one's done. I have another candle to light. Okay, so... Um, somehow a flashlight provides enough... <laughs> it's basically the sun. Um, can be focused with a magnifying glass to ignite stuff. I think this is orientable and it has to be like that. I feel like that's the solution approximately. And I have this for doing that. Okay, so basically just mirror what's over there. Okay, solved. <laughs> Explosives. I feel like this would probably be a little hard to follow. Uh, so sorry about that. <laughs> uh, blow up both remote bombs. Remote bombs. So these two? Huh? So those are connected somehow. How does that work? Can I inspect their connections? Hmm. I don't know. Uh... I think it wants me to detonate this dynamite here. So let's do that. I don't get a lot of tools to play with, so run. You okay? So explosives can destroy some blocks. Interesting. Alright, I'm sure that'll be used later. Things at launch. Launch all the rockets, missiles, and fireworks. Okay. Uh, so what happens if I just run? Usually that's the first action you want to take. Just run the puzzle and observe what it does. So I need to launch you, which means I need something to press this button. I need to launch you, which means I need a flashlight there, and something to press the button. I believe they light each other, so this will light that, and then... what? Okay, I get three tennis balls. So I want to ignite this. That thing falls. So I need a couple of things here. I need this here, and I need to support that. I think that'll solve this one. Yes. So those things autofocus. That's cool. So this should light that, and then this should do that job. Okay. Man, this all happens so fast once I get it. <laughs> I guess you can replay if you want to see more closely what it does, but... Man, that is pretty speedy. Okay. Cannons. Fire all the cannons. All right, so this is obviously a place for that. Symmetry. So if I want to rotate this. All right, that's how that works. Uh, looks like I'm missing some ingredients here, so you want some of that. Run. Okay, and there we go. <laughs> Fan, pinwheel, bike pump. Yeah, so this is like just a, a big dump of all of the puzzle elements here. <laughs> Uh, put a bowling ball into each steel cage. Wait a minute. Now, what do these do? Okay, so the pinwheel is a way to turn wind into rotational energy. Conveyor belts need to be powered. These two work. So basically, I can just do something similar over here. Let's see what this does. That's not how that's supposed to work at all. Uh, you're asking me to... I'm supposed to use a fan here, because that outlet's already placed there. And then the pinwheel for this goes like that or something? Maybe? Okay, well that worked. <laughs> uh, balloons! Pop the happy face balloon, but none of the others. I'm guessing some will pop, like that one there. A whole bunch do. Okay. I don't get a lot of tools for this. Ah, uh, right, because I'm supposed to tether these balloons together. That'll keep them in place. I guess all balloons are filled with helium. Can I rotate the tack? Yes. Okay, so I think that's going to be my solution. All right. Cool. Blimps. Pop 
follow the blimps. This is a very random assortment of elements. <laughs> right, so those go forward, they can... Huh. I guess they're filled with flammable gas, because they explode when that happens. Um, that candle is not lit, is it? Alright, so that gets popped by the... Hmm. Uh, if I light this, and then... Right, yeah, I mean, that's... that's. Once again, it gives me a template there. All I have to do is mimic that, and it'll work fine. Apparently when they bounce, they can go upward a little bit. Alright, I think that was the suggested solution. Cool. Hot air balloons. Launch all the hot air balloons. Run. So just ignite. Uh, however, that's not a launch. That thing's tethered. I need to clip the rope so that it'll be free to fly off. Light the flint. And that should be good. Okay. And a gravity pad. Right, that thing. <laughs> so balloons go down, things that fall go up. Put one balloon at each yellow brick box. So just that and that. Okay, done. Things that bounce. Put all of the pinballs into a cage. Whoa. Whoa. Okay, so all that needs to happen is you need to go there. Oh boy. I have to work with that thing. Alright, so... If I put this here, what happens? It bounces higher and higher, and blocks that. I think that's one solution, but not the intended one. I could fiddle with this until maybe that rolls the right way. I haven't used all my tools here. That did not bounce the way I wanted it. Alright, so instead of a fiddly solution like that, let's just do something that mimics that. Right, the mouse cage has to be bumped by something in order for it to start running, because otherwise it'll just do nothing. Alright, let's see how this works. Something I appreciate with the jack-in-the-box is that it's, um... It's sort of... It, it can't be freely placed, uh, as opposed to this spring, which I could move by a single pixel to change the solution a little bit. But, like, since this thing is restricted in how it's placed, it limits the possibility space, so makes it less likely that I just need to do a super fiddly solution um, to get everything to work. Okay, so something something that I changed, because I moved this around, <laughs> made that not work the same. And that sort of reason is why I usually don't like physics puzzles. Um, like the time at which the mouse starts... Wow, yeah, why is this going so wrong all of a sudden? Like, this worked a moment ago. <laughs> can I turn you around? I can. Does that help? Yeah, that seems better. Whoa. Okay, good enough. Boxing glove. Get both balloons off the screen. Run. Okay, simple enough. Ah, shoot. <laughs> I'm having some trouble with this run menu item. I wish it, there were just a button somewhere. Okay. Electric mixer can opener. Turn on both electric mixers and open both cans. Okay, well this is... Just plug it in, and it works. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, I didn't actually plug that in. Wow, that was a hard puzzle. <laughs> Toasters, make toast. So plug in and have a ball act on it. Okay. Great. <laughs> uh, large pipes. Put one bowling ball into each steel cage. Oh, yeah. These things. Okay, so... A ball can go into a pipe. That will accelerate it if it is in line. Because I could do this. And just connect these together directly. 
I don't know if that'll even come out this end. It does, but there's like no force to it. And now it's just stuck in the pipes forever. Um, so I need the accelerator in place. I could face it that way, and then that'll come out this end again. But obviously what I do is this. I don't know if it makes a difference whether it's on the right or on the left here. Let's find out. So that comes out with an equal amount of force compared to the other one. Looks like it doesn't make a difference. Okay. Egg timer. Get all pinballs off the screen. Run. Okay. Okay. So what you want me to do is blow this up so that has room to fall off. This needs to take its time a little bit. This one needs to be the thing that triggers that, so I need to... I can't rotate you in that position, because it didn't have room to rotate, I see. Alright, positioning things is a little awkward sometimes. Oh. Oh. Change parameters, got it. Alright, so you can go immediately, you need to wait a little bit. I guess I'll copy that configuration. Okay, looks good. Message machine. Turn on all computers to read the message. I wonder what it says. So I don't even need to use all these. I can just do this. You win! Wait, why did that happen? Do that again. Oh, the pinball made it all the way over. Okay, so well, I don't even need you either. There we go. <laughs> Minimalism. So keyboard angles to the right. I don't know what you could do with the computer other than have it just as a goal object. It doesn't seem like it would interact with anything else. Pool balls, walls, cues. Six ball into the bottom right corner pocket. Okay. Okay. So you want me to do this, huh? Presumably. Okay. Cool. Coffee pot. Blow both hot air balloons off the screen. Right, the coffee pot, when acted on by heat, will create wind and also propel itself backward, apparently. Alright, I can deal with that. Uh, it's affected by gravity, right? I believe so. Yes. However, that did not light the thing. There we go. Alright. This one did not propel itself backward. Why? If I face it this way, does it? Yes. And that's a valid solution. So it only propels to the right, but not to the left? Hang on. I'd like to understand this. Why do you behave th that way? That's super bizarre. The left-facing one goes backward, the right-facing one holds still. Okay, well that's a quirk. <laughs> lasers! Turn on all of the lasers. This is gonna be a real hard puzzle. Oh boy. <laughs> I think I solved it. <laughs> oh man. Laser activated plugs. Start the uh, electric mixer. Okay, so... This plug starts this laser unconditionally. This one has to have a laser pointed at it in order to actually give any power. So like, I could easily just do this and skip out on that entirely. Uh, like if I made this, oh, right, you can require a combination of lasers if you want. All right, well, let's just, let's do this the proper way. I'll make that green, put it somewhere around here. Blue laser points at that. And if I've aimed everything correctly, I have not. Can I nudge things? No, I can only drag. Okay, that's great, but that's not plugged in. Okay, good enough. I remember those being particularly finicky and picking. Picky. Laser mixers, okay. Yep. So then you see what the mixed colors are about. It does 
what should be obvious. Uh-huh, yes, give me this. Oh, rotate. Uh-huh, rotate like that. Sure. So it mixes the two colors together for outlets that require that color. Laser mirrors. Okay. Those will do the obvious. So you're getting yellow, you need white. Got it. Alright, so blue needs to shine down there. No problem. Might be a slight problem to fiddle that into the right place. There we go. Laser detect. If I do this, will I stop clicking outside this window, maybe? <laughs> Turn on the green light in each of the laser detectors. Okay. So, basically just have a laser shoot that thing. Okay. Okay, does that do anything? Or is it just an object <laughs> to make sure you've lasered correctly? Translation and rotation. Okay, so that's 31 out of 40. I think I can get through the 40 if I'm quick. Pinballs into aquariums. Run. Whoa. Okay, so that's a new object. It's a ratchet. So it rotates on an interval when given a pull. Okay, directional pull turns into rotation. Got it. Now that's a pulley, turns rotation into directional energy. Got it. Okay. So, um, to do the same, something similar. Yes, you're oriented correctly. You connect to that. Pulley connects to this. Rope connects like that. Doesn't look quite as neat as the other one, but should do the job, maybe. Yes. Buckets. Two beach buckets up inside the yellow bricks. Paint can is heavier. I believe it, yeah, it becomes lighter as it drips. Mm-hmm. Uh, I need a bucket there. Mm hmm Okay. Run. Something about the way I hung that was more effective than the other one. I think I put it higher up or something. Uh, snips and trimmers. Put one bucket into each basket. See, I've already had to work with those. Oh, I see how it is. So the steel wire can only be trimmed by snips. Now, does that also hold true for this way? Can I use these on a rope? I can. Uh, yes, it's a demonstrator right there. Uh, but I cannot use the shears, hedge trimmers, on the steel wire. They just don't work. Mm -hmm. Okay. This probably all just seems like totally random stuff right now. But once we get into the real puzzles, this can get very devious. Cats and aquariums. Put all five cats between the pipes. So what does a cat do? Kind of panics when it's hit by a ball or another cat. Wash itself an idol. Okay. Why did you move? Ah, it's attracted to fish, I see. is attracted to fish from a greater distance if the aquarium is broken. Fascinating. Cats are strange creatures. Alright, so I think it's telling me to put an aquarium here and then break it. So you'll start moving immediately, then you... Okay. Looks like that worked. Those cats are not happy. <laughs> but they're in the right place. Nice and cheese! Get all other mice to a piece of cheese. I'm pretty sure the cats can actually catch the mice. Watch. Oh, but they get scared away. Okay, so the mice are faster. I want to see what happens if I catch this mouse. Sorry, mouse. It's for science. Okay, it just disappears. Mouse got eaten. <laughs> Alright, so you need to be scared over that way so you'll fall down and see this cheese. You will be scared and see that cheese. I put this here, apparently. Okay, sure. 
All right, mice are happy. Cats don't care much. Mouse hole. Get a mouse into each mouse hole. Okay, simple enough. Mandrel motor. Put a bowling ball inside each crate. <laughs> okay, so this ridiculous mechanism consists of some sort of monkey on a treadmill with bananas behind a pull shade. So you have to pull the shade in order to reveal the bananas to make the mandrel want to walk forward and then turn that into a rotational energy. Okay. <laughs> this game is a bit goofy. Mel Schlemming is the name of this little guy. Get one Schlemming into each house. How do you behave, Mr. Schlemming? Why do you run and you walk and you stand? Okay. One into each house. Okay, right, you're just gonna stay there. You're not going into a house. I can probably tell him how to behave. Yeah, so stand, walk, run. Stand, run, walk. Okay, sounds fine. I can probably just stick him right above the door, too, if I wanted. All right. I mean, that works. Okay. That is an alligator, 39. The pinball into the aquarium. Okay, so the alligator will eat anything living, apparently. Do that again. He'll bounce any ball that comes on top of his... Uh, okay, cool. So all I have to do is this, right? <laughs> okay. If you say so. Vacuum. Vacuum up both mice. Oh, that's terrible. This is a game about animal cruelty, apparently. I'm supposed to turn this on using that. Okay. Oh, the cheese gets vacuumed up, too. <laughs> okay, I've solved all the tutorial puzzles. Next batch of brain teasers. Good luck. Cool. Okay. So, uh, that was all the tutorials. Now things get a little more interesting. Yep, so this starts the easy puzzles. These look a little more polished. Like this actually has a background placed and everything. It looks like a, like a place. Okay, so that's going to be next time. Um, hopefully this made at least a little bit of sense. It was probably kind of hard to follow, so sorry about that. Um, now that I'm out of the tutorial, uh, everything should be a little more followable. Alright, I'll see you next time for the easy puzzles.